New at 9. I can't sit around and wait on them to make the right law. This local teacher made a big statement as she tried to raise money for her classroom supplies. Thank you. Yeah, some of you may have seen her standing on an East Tulsa Street corner with a sign asking for money. Fox 23 Sarah Whaley is live with the teacher's emotional message tonight. Sarah. Yeah, she, she's really just wanting lawmakers to know that teachers all over the state are spending a big portion of their tiny salary on things like school supplies. And today I saw it for myself. The public responded. Teresa Danks has a master's degree. Thank you so much, sir. But on Tuesday, she was on the corner of a Tulsa street begging for money. I mean, we are begging, and, you know, we don't want to call it that, but this kind of shows that it is. Danks has been an educator since 1996, and while it's never been a financially rewarding profession, she says lately, It's just getting harder and harder. Danks makes around $35,000 per year, and with education getting less and less money from the state, she says she's now spending about two to 3000 out of pocket for school supplies. And I'm not alone. I mean, we're all doing it, so I'm just one voice of many. Just one voice. Thank you. Appreciate you so, so much. But it's a loud one. Honestly, I just wanted to be do something shocking. And it worked. Car after car stopped. All of them when I'm shaking with money and some with encouragement. I was getting emotional when people were like, your teachers like you are the reason I'm alive today. With this sign alone, this teacher made nearly double in the six or seven minutes she was standing on this street corner than she makes hourly in the classroom. Thirty-five dollars, so and much. then, as we left, someone gave her twenty more. What do you want to say to those people that? that I want to just... say thank you, thank you for caring. And if you're wanting to help, we have put Dang's contact information on our website. That's fox23.com. You can just click on the link to this story. Or she says, even better than that, just go to your local school district and donate what you can. She says they are all in need. Reporting live here in downtown, covering news that matters, Sarah Whitley, Fox 23 News. Wow, her genuine emotion, I think, just struck all of us here in the studio. Glad the public responded, Sarah. Thank